Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying a new to us uh, dip. It's a salsa. It is the uh, Tostitos Chipotle flavored. It's medium restaurant style salsa. And we got this at Kroger. It was a free Friday. So we didn't pay anything for the jar of salsa. But when you have salsa, you have to get a bag of chips to go with it. So and they sell something. So yeah. And they knew that. Of course, we could have gone to Walmart and bought our chips, but we didn't. We chose to buy them there. And our favorite uh, dipping uh, chips are <clears throat> these Tostito scoops. And we use these a lot um, every year when we have the buffalo chicken dip. Mm -hmm. Kevin has a recipe on it on YouTube. Uh, when we make the buffalo chicken dip, we always have the scoops because you can just you, you can get, get more. Lots of it. Yeah, you get more. <laughs> Although the little round bites are nice too, they're just not as scoopable. Yeah, if you want to eat more, then you need these. But if you like cheese dips, those little round ones are good for cheese because you can just stick them in right. and they cheese sticks they down. Are. You don't need to scoop cheese. But right, but these are sauce. like mini bowls. Yeah. That's what they are. Yeah. Uh, if you're curious about the nutrition facts, um, one ounce, about 13 chips or 140 calories of these. Uh, they're just typical tortillas. Yeah. What we really want to review though is the Chipotle flavor Tostitos uh, salsa because we've never had it before. I've never, I've never seen it actually. Um, I've never saw it before. Two tablespoons is 10 calories. And that's why I like salsa. If you are on a diet and you want uh, something good that has a lot of flavor, salsa is really good. You just have to make sure you count out your chips so that you don't go over. Will you I'll close the lid? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Kitty cat wants from the garbage. Okay. Mm. Well, it's got a good dog. We are going to dip straight out of the jar because it's just me and Kevin eating this. I actually will not eat it. No one's going to come into the house into our refrigerator and get this and eat it. It's just and us. Uh, oh, hey, that's also right. looks good. So, yes, we will probably double dip, but it's okay because we kiss. Yeah, it's fine. It's just us. Nobody else can eat it. Um, I'm thinking that, you know, if you wanted to do this, if you like the flavor of this, you can put this over chicken too. It has a, to me, a very smoky flavor. Mm -hmm. Which is Chipotle usually does. Mm -hmm. Ooh, got a little bit of heat to them. It does. And, and you know, I never thought about my chicken. We both, Kevin, Kevin taught me that, love to bake chicken and then, um, Put pour this or pour any kind of salsa over the top mm -hmm. and put it in the oven for like five more minutes just to heat that salsa up and it is awesome. Mm -hmm. That would be delicious. It'd be really good. Add a good smoky flavor mm -hmm. to it. Got a little heat to it. Yes, and Got it a has good pepper a, flavor to it. It does have some chunks, but not not a lot. You do see some little pieces of onion, but mm -hmm. not a lot of anything else. Yeah, that's really good. Um, it's got a. I wonder what the sodium is in here because it feels like. Let me see. There's like some sodium in there. Um, no fat, cholesterol none, sodium 210. That's so not two too bad. For two tablespoons, two that's probably pretty high. It has fire roasted diced tomatoes and tomato juice, diced mm -hmm. tomatoes in uh, water. It's got a good flavor to it. It really yes. does. So do you like, like this better lot. than the regular salsa? I like the smokiness of that. I do. If I if I'm just gonna sit and eat tortilla chips uh, mm -hmm. or have it with chicken, then yes, I would like that. I would wouldn't want to put it for me with cheese and that. Just like I wouldn't want to put it on my taco because I feel right. like that has so much flavor in it, so much of a smoky flavor that it's gonna override the flavor of the taco. And mm -hmm. I like the flavor of the taco. I like the taco seasoning that's in the taco. That would go good in a taco salad then. It would go great Like mixing a bunch of stuff yes, and you put would. a couple, a little bit of that in there. Yes, mix it, it would. It would go very good. It's just a little different flavor than a traditional, because the traditional salsa is more tomatoey, um, that's tomato smoky. and peppery. Yeah, this is very smoky and mm -hmm. it does have a little, not like burn your lips off heat, but it does have a little back of your throat Just heat. a little bit, yeah. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you can find it. Like we said, we've never even seen it before, so it's new to us. And thanks for watching.